and that's it. Okay. So let's see how this magnetic eyelashes work all day. <laughs> and let's see if I actually do like them, you know, because I had been trying forever and I have not tried them. But let me see how, how they feel. Okay, now, so now that the eyelash glue, this one is a little bit more up, but I'm not going to take it off because it's going to take out the eyelash thing. I mean, the eyeliner. So it'll just have to stay like that. Sorry, but I'm not going to take it out because if I struggle to put it on, I'm going to struggle more to take it off. I mean, to do it all over again. And like I said, I took it off the first time. And, you know, obviously the second time. It got messed up, so now I have to fix it, you know. Because I know it's messed up. So I guess maybe that will help it. And now, you know, I stained myself right there. So now, I will be grabbing a little bit of whatever I can find and just... I guess whatever, you know, I'll, I'll do it in a little bit. Okay, so then after that, um, now that, that I actually put the magnetic eyelashes on, this is pretty exciting. I will be doing my mascara. Okay. Now, my mascara is pretty simple as well. I mean, I have this too, which is it Cosmetics. And then this one, which is, I forgot what it is, but, yeah. So I usually just put one coat of this one for that eye. Coat of the next eye. Put another coat of this and put it away. The same thing with my other eye. I will... Put it on. And I will do it to my other one. You know, because and that's it. I don't do I don't do no more. I don't know if everybody does that or puts, you know, mascara on their eyelashes. You know, I just do it very simple. Okay, something else that I you do I do put um a little bit of foundation I don't put a lot of foundation but I do mix foundations okay so I put on the 235 pure bird pure beige I think that's what it's called I don't know I don't know how to say it right and then the 230 okay so they're the same the only difference is that one is dewy and smooth and the other one is matte and poreless okay the only reason I do that is because I was using the dewy and, and smooth but I feel like since my skin is super oily already, it was extra oily. And I didn't like that. I feel like it was too oily. My face looked plastically. I didn't like it, you know. So then I started using the, the matte poreless. But then that one, I feel like it was too dry, you know. Like, it, I need, feel like I need a shine. But not too much shine where I look oily, you know. So this is what I do. With this same one that I switch, um, I do color switch, I will put one drop. Because, I, like I said, I don't use a lot. So, I just put one little droppy. <clears throat> okay. Oops, that's a lot. So, I mean, honestly, this is how I do it. Just put a little bit, not a lot. Then, I go to the other one. And I put another drop of this one. So, this is the other one. This is the matte portless. And the other one was the dewy one. And that's it. Something small as well. Nothing too much. So then what I do is I mix them. I mix them with a the brush. Okay, I will grab this brush and I will mix them. You know, and most of it, you know. So now, that's it. That's everything I'm going to use for my face. So first what I do is I put it under my eyes, you know. And the same thing for this eye. And then. That's it. Like. Okay. 
And that's it. I make sure I put it on my face. Like I literally just grab it and go like this on my face, you know. Put it right here, right there, right here. Grab some on my forehead. Put it like that. My neck. And my neck. And that's it. Like I said, I only put on a little bit because I'm not a big... You know, I really don't like to put on makeup, but just because today is Christmas, I will be doing my makeup. So, that's it. That's all I'm going to use, okay? After that, I usually like to grab this brush and just mix it. Mix it all up in there. This, like this. Make sure we don't forget about the neck area. And that's it. That's all you. So I was just make sure that I check that my. Eyeliner is not that messed up, you know? That's all I check for. Okay, and that's it. So then after that, I will be putting on my lipstick. Which day, since it's Christmas, I will be wearing red lipstick. And, you know. Just put it on my lips. Yeah, like this. There comes my daughter again, knocking on the door, like always. Cause she wants to come in the restroom. Not literally in the restroom to go pee, but to play with water. So that's it. Um, that's how. I do my lips. Well, not my lips, but my whole makeup, you know, situation. Then after that, I do spray the mist. Um, the long lasting uh, matte finish. And I just spray it all over my face. And I know you can see a lot of straps. One is my bra, one is my tin top, and then I have a fajan, which I just purchased. Um, it's a faja colombiana. I So my thoughts was like, okay, I'm going to wear a faja, this and that, you know, whatever. But I don't like the whole fact that you have to take it completely all out to go use the restroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear it when I'm at home. You know, when I'm when I go to, out to public places, I will not be wearing it. You know, only when I'm at home, so that way I can start getting used to it. Um, it's not too tight. It feels perfect. I'm able to breathe, and that's what I like. Um, I know other people like it where like, oh, you know, I can't breathe. You know, but if you're not comfortable, I'm not gonna wear it. You know, so I had to get something that I was comfortable with, and this is what I got because this one is the one that. I feel comfortable with. Um. So then, okay. So then I'm gonna spray this on. Okay, so that's it. I don't do anything else. That's that's my whole makeup thing. Okay, so then I will just, you know, like I said, I put everything away as I go. So I will start putting my stuff away. But you know what? I feel like this one is lifting. Like, I don't know. It feels weird. Oh, you know what? I have a little hair. One of my hairs. One of my little hairs fell in here. I know you guys can't see it, but I can see it. 
boogie me. Okay. I took it off. It was one of my cat's hairs. Okay. So I I, I will be curling my hair. I, I'm going to curl my hair today. Um, so let's see how that process goes. Okay. Okay. So now I will be curling my hair. I have my glasses on and everything now. I put them on. Um, I was like, what the heck is this? And I think it's... I don't know, from the minute or something. But this is a curling iron I've used. I had this curling iron for years, and I mean, I like it. I have not gotten a new one ever since I've had it, you know? And I mean, I don't even know. It's like a weird brand. It's a nano silver ceramic. Jill, Jill Berry de Paris. That's what it says there, you know? So, this is what I will be using to do my hair uh, and this one warms up really fairly quickly so i mean it doesn't take me forever to do my hair either um it's really quick especially and i know i do have long hair so not super long because i just cut it but i mean it's long My daughter again okay so I know you guys really can't see but my hair is long oops I forgot to wear my papa <laughs> my hair is pretty long it goes all the way to my butt so you know I will cut my hair like this because I mean I really I mean I curl it but you know my hair is thin so it doesn't need a lot to get curled, you know, like, I just literally grab this two pieces and, you know, probably take me like 10, 15 minutes or less. And, you know, just go like this. Oh, I got stuck. Sorry. It hurt me. What? I don't even know why I'm saying sorry if I got stuck in my hair. <laughs> sorry to myself, I guess. Okay. So, it goes like this. And I forgot to put the freaking thing down. And I just curl it. And I mean, I'm not doing perfect curls. So, I mean, I really don't care how it really looks. Like, I don't do, like, perfect curls. It has to be this. I'm going to go somewhere. No, I'm just going to go with my mom. Eat some tamales. We made some tamales this morning. Um, And I'm not going to do much, you know. Just be with my family. Have a good time, you know. Drink some wine, you know. We're not going to drink beer. This year, I've decided not to drink beer. For Christmas, I just bought a bottle of wine. Something for us to do a little different. Usually I get beer, you know, and this year I decided, you know what? I'm just going to take wine. We're, just, we're going to drink wine, you know. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to eat tamales, pozole, and drink some wine. That's it. So like I said, I mean, I really don't. Do them super perfect, you know, because I just kind of want them wavy. I don't want them, like, super curly, you know. I just want them wavy. Want to feel like, you know, like I did something since I never get ready for anything, you know. Like, I literally never get ready. So, just to look cute. Como dicen, nomás para mirarte bonita para la sala. That's it. But, you know, hey, we're going to be having a good time. We're going to be with family. It's usually just my mom, my dad, um, my brother. Now he moved in with Chanel. So now she's included in the picture. So now, you know, and then my sister Rosa, she moved out. And now she lives with her boyfriend. So, I mean, her baby daddy. Well, I mean, future husband. I don't know what to call him. You know, I really don't know. <laughs> so, um. She will not be attending today, but she will be going tomorrow to open up the gifts because she's going to be spending it with her boyfriend's family, you know. 
Um, my brother Kevin's here from Sacramento. Um, and he will be staying here today and tomorrow. Um, his girlfriend's coming tomorrow to open up gifts with us. We bought her a couple of things. So she will be coming over. Um, and, you know, it's just very simple-like. You know, and me, of course, with my boyfriend and my daughters. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. And, yeah, like, and my mom and dad, my little brother, and, of course, he's not that little, but he still doesn't have a girlfriend, so he's not bringing nobody around this year. <laughs> we'll wait until he's 18, like my other brothers. So, we'll see. So, I'll just be twisting this here. And of course, my brother's, like I said, my brother's here. He's making like a peppermint white chocolate with, dark, I think he said pretzels. And I saw him putting um, dark, not dark chocolate, but milk chocolate. And then I don't know what he mixed in there. You know, I just thought he was doing it. And I'm like, oh, it smells pretty good. And he's like, yeah, I put peppermint on it. So we'll see what he makes. He, They never really cook, you know, but I'm so glad that they're actually trying to do something like some baking, you know, some stuff, you know, like, it's just something new to try, you know, we have to try different things because, I mean, us Mexicans, like, we're so used to a tradition, like, oh, like, we're just gonna do this, but, like, you know, honestly, we don't, like, honestly, my family, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak for my family, my family, we always did, like, we never really did turkey, you know, I think this is barely the second year that we actually did turkey, um, or third year but we never ever did turkey like you know we're gonna do turkey you know like no we would do other food instead of turkey because i mean we didn't know like i mean i was young so we never did turkey you know as far as i can remember we ever did turkey but now that we're older we um like this year my boyfriend's friend gave us a turkey and instead of doing it in a turkey i mean i mean it's already a turkey we cannot do it you know i mean instead of doing it like you know on the oven you know um we did not do it in the oven my mom made it into mole which was pretty good you know um and i made um some ham some um one plain ham because my brother wanted it plain and then i made a ham that had um pineapples with the brown sugar and stuff like that you know so we're trying we're trying different things this time um last year we did do a turkey but it was a big turkey and my sister said oh you only put it for two hours and two hours and a half in the oven so when we got to my mom's house i cooked it at my house when we got to my mom's house um <laughs> the turkey was not cooked like it was not cooked so good thing i had made some ham you know, I made some ham. Um, but the turkey was not cooked. It was, like, all the inside was not cooked. And then I told my sister, like, are you sure it was only two hours and a half? Like, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be more than two hours and a half, you know? Um, she was like, no, no, it said only two hours and a half. And, you know? And then I looked it up online and I'm like, dude, it was supposed to be four hours or five hours. And, you know, and then I was like, oh, my God. So we were, like, super laughing at her, like, dude, like, what the heck were you thinking? Like, you know, like, now we can't eat turkey. And it was just a funny story, you know. It was just funny. So then this year, like, we made fun of her. Oh, we're not going to give Rosa the turkey, you know, because if we give her the turkey, it's not going to get cooked because she's going to say it's two hours, you know. So then this year, um, we decided to do it in tamale, and I decided to do two hams, you know. So that's what we did this year for, you know, and... I mean, for Christmas, I helped my mom make some tamales, and we made pozole, you know. Um, for New Year's, um, I told my mom, you know, mom, I've been craving pambasos since my birthday. Can you make me, can you make pambasos for New Year's? Um, let's just make something different instead of making tamales, you know. And um, she's like, yeah, I know for your birthday, I really wanted to do you some pambasos, because I know you've been wanting some. But your dad said he wanted to make you a carne asada. So, but... For New Year's, we'll think about it if if 
we're gonna do pambasos, you know. So at least it's a thought, you know, that we might do pambasos. And so I'm so excited because I've been craving them forever, you know. So yeah. So we'll see how that goes if I get some pambasos. Hopefully I do because you know I'm very excited to eat pambasos. Um, my daughters are playing with the mirror in the door, so that's why it sounds so noisy. They know how to bug me for sure, you know. So then, um, honestly, every year we spend it with friends when it's New Year's. Um, we never spend it at my mom's house. Like, we usually just go eat and then leave and, cause, and tell my sister, oh, can you babysit the, the, our daughters? We're going to go out to a party. And, you know, we leave. But with all this COVID thing going on, I'm like, we're not going to go to no parties. We're just going to be with the family and, you know, just enjoy the time, you know. And because... You know, it's just, I'm not trying to get COVID. I, thankfully, none of my family members have gotten COVID. None of us, not myself, you know, nobody has gotten COVID. I mean, we've been in contact with COVID, but we have not gotten, and I'm so blessed for that. This year, we have not received it, you know? I mean, I really, I don't know if still if I'm going to get the vaccine. I'm like, really, like, like, really thinking super hard about it, you know? Like, extremely hard about it. Like, do I really want to get the vaccine? Should I get the vaccine? Um, those are some thoughts that I have in my head, you know. I don't know if I really want to get it, if I don't want to get it. And, you know, it's something you really have to think about it really hard. Um, I know I get the flu vaccine and I get other vaccines. So, I mean, I don't even know why I'm thinking about it. But, you know, just hearing that people have allergic reactions. Just like, I mean, with every vaccine people have different reactions to every vaccine everybody's not the same you know but i don't know what what i want to do what uh maybe my mind my mentality would change in a couple of weeks and say okay i'm gonna get it you know because since we are health care workers you know they do say that you have to get it because you're a health care worker so honestly i'm not sure yet when we're gonna get it either like I, I told my coworker, you could get it first i don't want to be a guinea pig because i would feel like a guinea pig like honestly i'm not lying i really do feel like a guinea pig because i just feel like okay you know it's the first time that they're doing it you don't know what people are really having you know like i know they have years of making vaccines but how do you know that's the correct one how do you know there's not going to be more strands of covid like the flu there's different strands of the flu um, how do you know there's not different strands of COVID? You know, like, like you can't just assume it's the first time we've seen it. It's the first time, you know, we're having all of this going on. So, you know, like, it's just some thoughts that I just have in my head. Like, you know, how do you know it's the correct one? How do you know, you know, just me overthinking. I'm overthinker. I mean, I love to argue. Everybody knows that about me. I'm always arguing because I'm always trying to be right. But, like, you know, you have to prove your point. Like, you know, it's like, you just have to prove your point. Like, if you like that person is wrong, it's wrong. And, you know, that's that's not how I think. And everybody has the right to think whatever they want. You know, I'm not going to get mad if somebody thinks something else. You know, it's just not going to happen, you know. Just, if you think that, okay, good for you. Well, I'm going to think my opinion and that's it. That's why everybody is their own person and everybody is unique their own way. I always tell my boyfriend, like, you know, if everybody would be the same, it would be freaking boring. This world would be so boring. Like, like, why do you want me to be the same as other people? Or why do you want me to follow other people? Or, you know, like, that's not me. That's, I don't like to follow people. I like to do my own thing. I don't like to get told what to do, you know. And, of course, we have to follow laws, you know. I'm not going to be not following the laws because, you know, but, like, I don't like to be told what to do, like in general, you know, like if I if I come home and I'm going to clean, I'm going to clean. Leave me alone, you know, like don't bug me like this is what I do every day. You know, it's just and I was just telling him yesterday, like I've been falling in a routine, you know, like I come home and I clean and, you know, that's all I do. And, you know, it's just I just clean, 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 clean away every day. And then. One day, I was being lazy, which was, I think, Wednesday. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to clean. Or Tuesday, I'm not going to clean today. I'm just going to be lazy, you know? I need time to rest, too, you know? Like, it's already hard as it is on me. And 
the only thing with me that it's really hard to be resting because I'm always so used to doing something at all times. Like, I don't know. I just have too much energy. That's my problem. I really do. I have too much energy and I don't know how to control it. At a point, I thought maybe I have ADHD or something because, you know, honestly, I just have too much, too much energy. I'm not going to lie. I do too many things at once and... You know, I got to make sure that the house is clean and, you know, if it's not clean, I get really upset about it and it's just, you know, I just need to learn how to relax a little bit and not take it to the extreme and get upset because I really do get upset about it. And, you know, like if I say I'm going to clean, I'm on clean mode, like, which I clean every day, which, you know, <laughs> it makes it hard not to clean, you know, because I'm like clean, 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 clean and He's like, just relax for a little bit. You know, all you do is complain. And I'm just like, well, the house is dirty. There's dishes on the sink. You know, like, there's toys all over the place. You know, and, you know, I really do need to relax. I need a chill pill, but I just don't know how to do that. I'm just very, like, gotta do this, gotta do that. You know, like, you see on my video, I can't stop talking. <laughs> I could just talk for hours and hours and hours and have a conversation with somebody for hours so it's just i don't know i'm just very social i think that's what it is even with the camera like the other day when i did, made my first video about my boxy charming i was like i've never done a video like and i'm very shy about it um but like you know i don't understand how for some things i'm shy but it's like dude why am i even freaking shy if i talk to everybody i'm always like out and about i'm not I'm not a shy person at all, you know, like, I'm really not a shy person at all, you know, so, I don't know, I, I think it's more like embarrassment, not like that I'm shy, but I'm more embarrassed than anything, but, okay, so, this is how it looks, um, I, you know, like I said, I do have long hair, so, um, but this is how it looks, this is how I will be going to Christmas, of course, I'm gonna take my faja away, um, I'm not, I will not be wearing my Paca Colombiana to the party, you know, like to the get together with my family. Um, I just, I'm just using it for the house for me to get used to it. Um, and I will not be wearing it out, but now I'm going to change. So it was nice to do my makeup with you guys and do my hair. And I know I talk too much, but I'm just a talk, talk, talk person. You know, I just love to talk and, you know. So, if anybody else have any ideas what I'm doing wrong doing my makeup, go ahead and comment. Let me know. And I will sure read it. And I will do changes if I have to do changes, you know. Like, so, thank you. And it's very nice. Have a good day. And Merry Christmas, you guys.